Hello everyone and welcome to our Christmas stream. I just thought that I've been actually gonna let people come in for a little bit. Hello everyone! Haha, <laughs> the guys have been following me. But I had speed bar on. So I actually pretty much crossed the whole island. How long does it take to make a cup of tea? An island. <laughs> so hello everyone. Hi split second. Hi Leo. Have you been playing this? Yeah I know. No no cutaway yet. Um, but trust me, there's so many, so many juicy features in the in the works. I'm sure we'll have it sooner or later. Well, it's made already, it's just not published. So I know you're particularly keen on the old falling from the sky. But uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I've been head down editing 
uh, for the last two weeks straight for a video that is only coming out the beginning of next year. Really cool research video. Um, hi, Jim. Uh, and um, and I thought, oh no, I'm not gonna have, I'm not gonna have a video uh, before Christmas or this side of the year. So I thought because Evans just launched the uh, four, version 4.1 of the paragliding sim, this would be a good opportunity to more if if if, if nothing else to have a chat with you guys and see how everyone's doing. So uh, these streams are always really fun to do. I. I've ordered some stuff that is on the way to make these streams even better. So um, yeah, I thought I'd, with the excuse of showing you around Parasim 4.1 and trying to encourage you to try it out, uh, it's, it's more of a chat <laughs> than anything else. Uh, if you have any burning questions as well, or if you wanna share anything with your fellow subscribers and viewers, then uh, yeah, let us know. But yeah, so let's address it straight away. Parasim uh, 4.1 is out. It's this thing. And what's new? Uh, I suppose this is still the same. So works with the Bandara controller mini. So this is pretty good. Uh, we also have a lot of cool things. Look, we have five maps now. Um, I'm gonna encourage Evan to name them, but it, these are really cool. At first, they all look kind of similar, and they're, they're islands for a reason. Uh, they look kind of similar, but they're not. The terrain on a lot of them are different, so I think we should call like this the pancake, and this can be like the Alps or whatever. This can be like Big Peak. Um, so when you when you spawn, oh, I have no idea where I am. Oh wow, I'm way too high. Oh, and when you spawn now, you have this like kind of like slew mode. In um, for those of you who play um, uh, or have played uh, f Flight Simulator, it's like just a way to slew around a map without actually having to fly there. So you can choose your starting position. This can be our hill of choice of course maybe this over here is a bit cleaner air eh? and we can start this way and this way if we look on the map here i think we're on here so it'll be like south with a little bit of west in it so we can go to our weather control weather control and we can put it wherever we want so we want that and maybe a little bit more wind so that we can actually have some lift uh, you can put wind indicators on or off. I usually fly with them off, but I think for the stream it's good that people can see what the wind is actually doing. Um, there's also anabatic wind, which is pretty cool. Uh, kind of like, it's a mix between dynamic lift and thermals, I suppose. It's basically sunny slopes get more heat, so they, the, wind gets, the, the air gets lighter and goes up the slope. Uh, obviously you have thermals as well which are off at the moment and we also have um uh what's it called uh turbulence lee side turbulence so I'll, I'll show you that in a minute so that is pretty cool why am i so high i'm literally at the edge of space here 16 oh, i'm not that high actually 16 how can we get down fast? Spiral? Without taking into a sat, I think I think the sat is slower to come down. This is gonna take a while. Whoa, which one is our hill? I think it's that one over there. I think it's here. Yeah, looks like it. I 
went to the site and the device was sold out. I, sn I snozzed. I lost. Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised that they, uh, the Parrot Controller Mini sold so quick, to be honest. I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna, um, gonna put some more units on the, uh, I'm gonna get the parts and build some more and put them on the shop because quite a few people have sent messages saying, hey, let me know when there's more available. We, I had no idea that people actually want to buy them, so I, the only reason why I ordered 10 instead of one um, was because it was almost the same price really uh, because of how expensive or not PCBs are to make uh, might as well because I didn't even know if there were going to be some mistakes that were gonna um, make it not work properly because it was my first time designing it but hey it worked great yeah um, Jim if you don't mind uh, if you go onto the website where the, it's a link in the description where the thing is for sale, the, the Power Controller Mini. Just send me a message there. Um, there's a little link on the description to send a message. And that really helps me r figure out how many people want one, so I know how many to order. Um, and then, and then that means that, you know, if, if 10 or 20 people send me a message saying they want one, I might order like 30 to make sure we'll have at least 20 so that people can get them. So um, that will be greatly appreciated. Slew mode. C152 discovery flight today and it's very different. I can feel the weight in the yoke. Ah, I see. Split second. Just saying that on. Twitch. Come on, get out. Whip. Helico. We can do helico. Yeah, let me just get some altitude here. Some wings are a bit easier than others. I find that the acro wing is uh, it's actually a little bit tricky to control. It has more energy, so you can do stuff that you couldn't do otherwise. But that's not always super helpful. You can speed bar it here a little bit. Get out in front. The hard thing about Helico I've found is to go from stall to back fly to then just get it to start to spin after it starts to spin and it is roughly and you're kind of doing some fine adjustments with um with the brakes then it's not too bad but until you get to that point it's kind of tricky uh, we don't really have a very good box here because if something goes wrong we're going to go into those rocks but hey that's what simulators are for right so i'm going to go Exit, exiting backwards. <laughs> can we get out of this? Probably not. Oh wait, actually, can we? Let's put a little bit more wind and we might be able to go up the slope backwards. I don't think this is gonna work, boys. At least we got a soft landing. <laughs> Stall climbing. Hey Charlie. Of course I said a good time. We're just trying some uh stall climbing over here. <laughs> Ultimate ground handling. Can we get it to pull us a bit more here? Let's see. Split second on Twitch is asking, have you messed around with adding feedback to a controller? Oh man, you, you must be reading my mind. I have a project currently uh, sitting on my desk that is exactly that. Um, oh, there we go. We are managing to... Uh, 
take off backwards. And uh, obviously, the they're they're basically motorized potentiometers, so you can add force feedback to the actual sliders. That's a project for next year. But I've ordered some. I've had some for a while, and I've been playing with them, and it's it's amazing. That's the only thing I can say. It feels even just adding the rubber bands to the sliders already already makes it pretty cool. Um, but with with the actually motorized feedback is super cool because it could be like stiff at first, but then go soft because you go on to the, you know, if you stall the glider, it, uh, you know, the brake pressure kind of goes and everything in between. Obviously now it's hard. What I have is hard coded, which is, you know, half as fun as the real thing will be, which is when it's receiving break pressure data well break tension data from the actual game that will be pretty cool because then you can actually feel where the stall is but yeah that's that's something for next year maybe I'm really struggling here I'm trying to get away from the hill so I can turn around and not kill myself hi Sofian right let's try here no, I want to go the other way. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 yes. There we go, we're out. Speed bar out of here. Ah, nice cup of tea. Continuing the tour of Parasib, look at all this stuff. A parag type paraglider, which means there might be more types in the future. Seat harness, and you can have a little image and you can see the mass and drag of each one. Pod harness, ooh, lighter and s more streamlined. Paramotor, uh, same drag as a thing. Nah, this will be a bit more draggy, I reckon. And obviously a lot more heavy. Uh, to to paratrike, again, way more draggy, and and maybe a bit heavier too. Uh, and kite buggy, oh a lot of drag. That that's more like it, I think, the drag. But this I think is really fun because you can try to land on things because you got wheels. I've noticed on the controls that there's a way to. Um, <clears throat> Pardon me. There's a way to control your, which I assume is for the tail uh, of other aircraft that have your control, or for things that have wheels, so you can turn left and right. So that'll be pretty cool in the future. What happens if we stall here? Start. <laughs> Will it reinflate? No. Wait, can we turn it around? I feel like this looks bad, but it's maybe savable. Is it savable? Probably not. <laughs> this is what gaming has result has gone to is going oh hello. Hello, hello. Come on, come on. Oh man, this is almost working. We're gonna go all the way down to the beach now. Oh, that almost worked. I think if we had a little bit more wind, it would have worked. Oh, we're starting to go up the hill now. Even more wind. Oh. Like a traction kite now. Oh, speed bar, that's what we need. But I don't know how I can turn that part inside out. That's the tricky bit. Oh no, my dude is dying. Oh, it's a mess. Look at this. <laughs> Look at 
What's this guy doing? What the hell? I think this is a restart. There we go. Hi, João. Oh, you have the same name as me. Same name as my cousin. Is it just me or is the wing more flexible than normal? I th I'm i not sure. Maybe a little bit. Um, the um, Evans made some changes to the physics. Um, rather than just the cosmetic stuff. Um, but yeah, I think they might be a little bit more flexible. I don't know what was the last version you played, so... I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, there's definitely some changes to the physics. I don't know if it's been the flexibility. I don't even know how it makes it. How, um, how he does the flexibility of stuff, to be honest. I want to ask him about a lot of that stuff, to be honest. I've I've talked to Evan a couple of days ago and said it would actually be really nice to do um, a live stream with him, where where I could just ask him ask him questions and get you guys to ask him questions and then he can tell us all about how he's built it and stuff and what he's got planned. Look at this guy! Look at these little peelers flying around. You didn't play any, you just watched your stre the stream. Oh, thanks, man. I knew that was a common name. Common Piloncio name. Just so many people in the in the country that are called Juan Ferreira, hey? How about we go and explore a different map? I think this one is, this one looks pretty cool. I think this one was definitely made for cross country. So we can go very light on this. Pretty, pretty punchy on this. Maybe we could do the whole sunny side thing. So this is the sunny side. This is actually the sun is pretty high anyway. Sunny side slope, blah blah blah, wind indicators, let's do it. Oh, wait, we don't want this thing. Let's go pod. Pod it up. Hey Gustavo, you can get the, um, if you go onto the link in the description, you can see where the game is. And currently we're sold out of controllers, but if you send us a message, also the link is in the description. If you send us a message um, telling us that you want one, we'll add it to the list and then we'll know how many we, we have to order for next time. Okay, so now the problem is finding a thermal, eh? Oh, and we can create tasks now as well. We could already do that, but so turn point one, two, and three, and then go all over there. Yeah, I think it doesn't look it, but this map they all because they all look the same. But I think this map's a lot bigger than the other ones. Oh, <laughs> there he is! Hey, Laurie, thanks a lot, man, and Merry Christmas. I take it you're gonna spend it at home with Jen rather than going down to to the island, to the smaller island, and see the parents and stuff. And have you been playing this? That is the big question. It's come out a couple of days ago, and there's a lot more stuff than before. Look at this. All of these harnesses and trikes and paramotors and buggies and there's going to be different types here. 
and there's a lot of wings including some crazy contraptions and five different maps it's pretty cool man and I have to uh, I'll have to add a few units to the next batch of para controller minis because I definitely want to send you on I think you'd really enjoy this and I'm really excited that I think I've managed to convince Evan that multiplayer is a good idea and then I'll probably build like a little computer that can be um, like a server act like a server that we can all join in and chat on discord and race around the skies now that 2021 is looking a bit corroded up as well hey Joan yeah I know I know I, I already ordered it they're not here yet I was hoping they would be here at this point what are the what are the thermals man they are on um, but they I've yeah I've, I've ordered a webcam and stuff but it's not here yet and an HDMI input thing to use the big camera on it as well but maybe I should turn the Vario on but yeah that that's the plan for future streams so you can see my little face and the control inputs if you look closely here on the top right corner you can see the inputs but yeah the actually being able to see the controller would be better for sure Hey Chris, welcome to the stream. Um, yes, that project is still very much alive. If you go on to the channel, I think it must be, I don't know, two or three videos ago maybe? Maybe not, maybe more. But we have part seven out, which was actually trying the loads of sensors on, um, on a wing. And uh, yeah, that project is very much alive. So just uh, maybe maybe you missed the video, but it's, it's they're very much there. And um, I can reveal that there will be a part eight. I don't know when yet, but I'm already working on it. And it's, oh, little telltales are showing us there might be a little, little thing up ahead. Let's speed bar to it. Obviously, usually I play without this, without the wind indicators. But, um, but I think it makes for a better stream so that you guys can see what the air is doing. <laughs> yeah, Joel, Joel, it would be really funny seeing you play this. I think you might do okay, actually, because you're a bit of a gamer, but it's just really interesting to get people that are not paraglider pilots involved in paragliding stuff. Yeah, that getting the, my flying site on the sim, that, that would be great, Dean. I actually was talking to Evan to see if he could, if we could somehow put a, like a little tutorial out on how people could create their own wings and could create their own maps, giving it like to the community. And then obviously the, and then the best maps could be, uh, to, could be integrated into the sim and there could be a way for people to actually design and play their own maps. I think that would be super cool. There's one thing's for sure, there's a lot of code to be written for this game. Hi Tiago, hi Ermin. I think we're going up rather nicely. I'm not doing the best job of centering it, but hey. Also, look at this feature. Look how cool this is. You can just see the little paraglider from really far away. Hey Maza. Yeah, Laurie, if we could f fly in the real world, eh? I was watching, I don't know if you guys have seen, but there's a there's a YouTube channel called No Clip altogether, No Clip, which they do um, video game documentaries. 
and last night I watched one on Microsoft Fim Simulator, the latest one, and it's really, really, obviously it's an incredible game, but it's a really interesting way how, how they've designed and how they've made lots of stuff, including the terrain data and the building models and everything. I think for something like this, that would be really hard to implement because, you know, it's millions of dollars and huge teams of people but still definitely some stuff to be learned from there but yeah if we if we had the whole world to play with and it was as detailed as goddamn microsoft microsoft flight simulator that would be awesome hey angelo yeah you can you can get this game right now in fact i think evan would be uh very happy if people did because then you will put more time into it in fact let me see if i can try something that i've never tried before if i go here on obs and go to here can i add browser No. Add a window capture, maybe? Yes. There you go, we can take that one off. There you go. So this is the thing. It's now for sale. People commenting on it and stuff. But he had something like... Where was it? I don't remember. There was a thing where you could see they had like a little... Maybe he's taken it off, I don't know. But there was like a little goal of six hundred of getting six hundred dollars to get to the next stage, but then he I think he was already like three quarters of the way through. Anyway, it was really cool. Um but yeah. I can show things now. I never tried that before. Show little bits on the screen. Maybe videos as well. Oh, Chris was asking about this. Hmm. Where is it? Um, just give me one second, everyone. I don't know if you've, I don't know if you've seen this, Chris, but this is, this is the latest one. Uh, we lost that we lost that thermal didn't we we shouldn't have gone away from it we need some more height to get to the turn point thanks man appreciate the support oh we need to get through some sink to get to the to where the lift is The, uh, the link to the game is in the description, uh, Angelo, if you want to have a look there, you should be able to find it okay. Looks like the turn point is just beyond there. question is, can I get there? I should go to that side first, across the lake. There should be, there should be a thermal there, I think.
definitely some sink over the lake. <clears throat> it's not good. We need to go th for that one, isn't it? Can we cloud base? This is way too high. We don't need all of this. Does it not? I don't know. I don't think this. I don't think it updates live. Oh no, it does update live. It just takes a little time to update. Haha, <laughs> this cloud is way, way closer. Okay, maybe that's too close. Uh, let's go for a thousand. Boa noite, supernova. Welcome to the stream. There we go. Here we got something. Oh, this almost feels like real cross country. In case you've missed it. Uh, we're just trying the latest version, full version of Parasim and we've managed to create ourselves a little task. Started from the, started from the corner here. Uh, I'm just heading towards turn point one, which is here. Then we have turn point two there, three there, and then cross the water again to the goal. And this is one of the biggest maps as well. Um, so, just trying that. And we've got cheats on. <laughs> we've got um, the telltales, like these little green things. Where we can see the wind direction and stuff. Just because it makes it for a bit of a more visual stream, I think. It, this the the area of lift is huge compared to normal. It's because we're underneath this little cloud, N this not so little cloud. This is so cool. How how are there not more people playing this? Look at this. Look at it. I'm just going into the white room in a little bit, and I don't know this like really far away view. I really like it. You get a real sense of being with Kriegel in the Alps or some stuff like that. Like be seeing it really far away. Like that um, slow TV video that him and his brother have got being followed by uh, helicopters and stuff for th seven hours. Right, I think maybe we can sneak over to the turn point. Try to get it and come back. Don't remember which way the wind is. Southwest. Okay, so it's pushing us towards it a little bit. A little bit crosswind. And then maybe we can go back to oh, the... The cloud is moving. Is the cloud moving? I think the cloud is moving. I've got so many questions. So many questions for Evan. I think it would be great to um, to do a little little stream with him when we actually have uh, multiplayer. There you go. We've tagged turn point one. Sweet. I'm gonna try to get back to that cloud. Good morning, Hayes from San Diego. Oh, awesome. That was one of the places that I visited that I really liked some fish tacos. Absolutely delicious fish tacos in San Diego. Is this cloud decaying? I don't see a lot of green stuff around it. In fact, I actually need to look at where I'm going, don't I? Okay, this is roughly the... Yeah, this, this is decaying. This is not going to help us. Since we've got the whole, um, since we have the whole, uh, what's it called? Sunny side, anabatic, adiabatic flow. Uh, something like that. 
I think we're better off going on the sunny side, which is hard to know. Uh, I think this looks a bit shadowy. This looks a bit sunny, so if we go on this side, maybe we'll get something. Ah, Rio de Janeiro, velho! Oh, uh, Angelo. Ah, oh, podias dizer que falavas português, pá. Um, se quiseres jogar o jogo, se quiseres ver o jogo, está o um link aí na, na descrição. Basta ir aí por baixo do vídeo, na descrição, está aí o link. Carregas no link e vais para a página do jogo. E aí você já consegue fazer esse bagulho aí, velho. É simplesinho. Just trying to help out Angelo a little bit, because uh, he's not so keen on the old, on the old English. Uh, so I was just speaking Portuguese for a little bit, uh, so that I could help him find the, uh, helping him find where the link to the game is. So we're getting a little bit, like you can see these bits here, a little bit, a little bit going up. Maybe that's the sunny side thing effect. Actually, this is a good place to try it because we can go here, put like some sweet gain on it and see if it, yeah, it does change it. So it's not super strong effect, the whole, the whole anabatic flow, but it does work. Question is, can we get enough lift to cross over to the other side? What we really need is thermal though. Don't see a lot of them around. Uh, this is a mistake. This is a mistake. I don't want to go there. Not yet. Hi, Lime Spy. Thanks for the help. <laughs> I think we can take it all the way to the peak here. That makes it easier to then tag turn point two without losing too much height because then we need to cross over to the other side. Actually, one question though, just one second, because I was looking at this. Yeah, I think this, yeah, this stream, you guys are not telling me, this stream has the complete wrong thumbnail. What the hell, man? There you go, that's better. Completely forgot about that. There you go, professional streamer here. I should give people a better idea of what the stream is actually about. Can try a couple different cameras here too. Hi Jack! Merry Christmas, man! And I think on the other stream, I started a stream on the other channel first and Jim Jim Furman was there as well and he also ordered a controller like Jack. So it's really awesome. I take it hasn't arrived yet. I've been following the tracking numbers but um, but it looks like they haven't arrived yet. I really hope they arrive before Christmas, but it's been a bit tricky with the post. But I'm I'm really looking forward to hearing you guys' comments for after you've tried it for a few hours, um, to see what what you like in it, what you do better, what you do different on it, so that I can when I order the next ones, we can. Uh, 
yeah, get all the collective knowledge on what works and what doesn't work. But so far, I, I quite like mine. Obviously, I'm biased because I designed it for me. But I, uh, I really liked it. And Evan's been playing with it, and he used to play with like a remote controller for um, for like RC simulators. So like two little sticks with positives and negatives. It's hard to explain, but I think you know what what it is. Um, and uh, he says he likes it so far. Hopefully, after he's played it some more, he can give me some more feedback. But yeah, for the for a simple for for the mini i think it's it's working okay look at these walls nice and if you've just joined us like jack we are on the new version of parasim 4.1 that has just come out full version it's not the demo anymore it has five maps which is amazing and it has loads of harness it Loads of uh, harnesses, paramotors, trikes, different style harnesses, and very slowly going up. It has lee side, has lee side turbulence. It has anabatic flow, so sunny, sunny side lift, and tasks. I'm currently actually in the middle of a task. I've gone from there to there to there to. Hopefully I can tag 10.3, uh, 10.2 and then do 10.3 in goal. And fingers crossed, um, and then fingers crossed we'll have multiplayer at some point in the future. So super exciting stuff. Thanks a lot for stopping by, Chris. Really happy that uh, keeps us all entertained and learning. And uh, yeah, speak soon, man. Have a good one. So I'm just about to go into 10.2 here. I probably can skim it. So that over there on the right is going to be goal. 10.2 is over there on the left, which is in the shady side, which is a bit of a bit of a problem. And then, I don't think he is, Mazza. I This is what we were saying before, that it would be nice. Oh, shit, I missed the turn point. <laughs> uh, it would be nice to have Evan, the guy that made the game, come and do a live stream with me so that people can ask him all the questions. There you go, we got the turn point. Um, but no, I don't, think, I don't think he is. He's in Australia, so it might be uh, early, late there. I don't know. I know, when you think about it, it's it's only been through lockdown, hasn't it, that we've actually been, that the game actually, that I've started playing the game in March, I think, and all of these things have happened, so, pretty crazy if you think about it, oh wow, I think we're gonna show up in a newly formed cloud here, oh, there you go, thanks a lot Supernova for, uh, Helping Angelo find the hardest link in the world. <laughs> ah, nice little cup of tea. A cloud should be forming above us soon. At this rate, we're definitely going to do it. Because we only need to go... From there to there and then to there. I think we've got this one in the bag, boys and girls. There'll be like one girl in the middle of a thousand people, a thousand boys. It's nice actually like this where the cloud base is not too high. You can actually see it above each peak kind of thing.
So we should have 10.3 there. And gold there. And then beer down there. <laughs> Go to the beach after. Ah, <laughs> thanks a lot, Jack. Gemma's actually in the UK, but I'll uh, yeah, I'll save her a beer for sure. Thank you so much. You really didn't have to. You're already helping us so much by getting our, our little products. <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope it arrives very soon, and I hope it works very well. Because it's weird, right? Because, you know, I've, I've never, I've not, I'm not an electronics designer or anything. So designing something yourself, you know, you try your best. You try your best for, for stuff to work. But I really have no idea. I really hope it does work for everyone, you know, for every machine, every version of Windows and every version of Mac OS and whatnot. So for some reason... We don't really have a cloud above this thermal. There's one right there, to the side. <laughs> I won't expect much then. No, I mean, I mean, I've tried it. I've tested it as much as I can. But what I'm saying is, it's not like, you know, Logitech. Logitech has so many good engineers and wait ways to test a product before they actually sell it. All I'm saying is, it's not, you know, super. It's not a super polished thing, is what I meant. <laughs> but I do expect it to work, and to work well. And if it doesn't, I'll definitely give you your money back. <laughs> I think we're topping this one out a little bit here. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> right, I think we can do everything with speedbar now. We can do a little race to go. Venom Blade Gaming. Oh, we actually have a gaming channel on here. Hi, Venom. How are you feeling pretty venomous today? No, I didn't make it. I didn't make the game. I, me and a, me and a friend of mine trying to make a game like this some years ago, but he proved to be extremely hard and uh, beyond our level of expertise. So this was actually made by a guy in Australia called Evan Burrows. Uh, he's done a really good job at it. And you can play it right now if you fancy it. So we're going. We're going there, which is kind of the very tip of the thing. The way these, the way these, um, the way these tasks are placed, the turn points, it almost seems, what's the word, on purpose. Almost like they've been hand placed rather than randomly generated, which I think they were randomly generated before. So, if they're not, that's pretty cool. And it looks like we're on final glide now. Probably waited it. We waited too long. If we really, if we were in a race rather than a cross-country mesh we could have left a lot earlier but hey we didn't need to and here we are tagging the last turn point do 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 <laughs> Pregos. Pregos é marreca, né? Hi, Eugene. Um, I'm not sure. I think the game actually started as a mobile game. Um, and I think... I think it was on Android, actually. 
rather than iPhone, but I, I'm not sure these days. I think there's too much. Um, I think there's too much detail and finesse required to be to be very playable on a on a phone personally. But I think there's lots of people that play it on a on a on a phone that really like it. But it's not. It's just not my expertise, to be honest. All right, we've done it. We are going down. Spiraling away with a bit of sat, a bit of helico. Keeping our little altitude awareness. Can we swap? Can we swap? Yeah, we can swap. Yes. Speed bar to exit. You know, even even the um, even the stuff the acro pros say that if you want to learn acro don't go for an acro wing go for uh you know like a high b low b sort of uh, low b i think and regular size rather than overly small i think that's true in the game as well i've been trying acro on the acro wing but it's just way easier to do it in this this is like a i don't know high b probably Let's try to land with some speed bar. Boomba. So nice. Love this game. Very, very cool. Bye everyone. Nah, joking. Let's let's go again. Um, what else can we try? Oh, we can do a bit of paramotoring, can't we? I actually quite like this. Quite like this wing. I think I'll continue flying this wing. Actually. Uh, do, 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 do. Yes. Can probably if we're paramotoring, I'll probably. Actually, I'll show you guys a different. A different thing. Which one should we go for? So this is the big one. This one maybe? Why do we start so high? I think it was maybe the last time I was here. Let me see. Kodia, is it worth it? Um, the game? Definitely. Uh, game with similar, can't remember the name. Right now. Thanks, Angelo. Really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, I fly both paramotor and paragliders. Maza Maza, under well, I tried to make such a game. It's hard, isn't it? Started a week ago. God dot game engine. I never heard of it. A lot of fun. Am I? Are you allowed to post a link? Absolutely, man. Post away. The more, the merrier. Have, you, have I ever flown in Arizona? No, I've never flown in the USA actually. Funnily enough. Oh, this is interesting. The mo the the propeller free spins. My my throttle is on zero. <laughs> my throttle is on zero, and the thingy is spinning. Let's let's try something. If we start high, and we stall, does the propeller stop spinning? Spins backwards. Doesn't make a noise when it spins backwards. But if it spins forwards. Huh. How weird, eh? Yep, 
Yeah, yeah, I, I know it happens in real life. It's just I wasn't expecting the game to have that sort of detail, that's all. It's pretty cool, eh? Let's give it a little bit of... A little bit of gas. How much gas do we need to... For straight and level flight? Not that much. It's like... One third, maybe? Look at these drone shot air. Oh, in the shadow and everything. Yes. Let's let's give it the turn around the lake. Man, this is nice. Yeah, it's not perfect yet, but I'm honestly, I'm so impressed at how how good the game is, considering that there's literally one guy doing it in his spare time. Brave enough to try a foot drag? I don't think so. I mean, it's a game, so yes. Well, let's see. I think that's a good challenge. I think this is maybe the best camera for it. Sorry about the noise. Let's do it. So we need to control it with the throttle. Oh no! <laughs> Immediate. Immediate fail. Oh, I know. The water doesn't really exist. Like, it's not a. You can't collide with the water. So maybe foot dragging on the water is like a safer way to learn it. Because I think, unlike real life, where you can b get close enough and, uh, you know, there's just touching the, the ground with your foot doesn't add loads of drag. I think here, as soon as you touch, it like catches. <laughs> it catches and then... And then you're done, basically. You head over heels. Oh, but you know what? I can do um, wheel drag because there's a there's a little trike now, so that would help. Yeah, okay, let's try the let's try this. Oh, there you go. See, <laughs> not a big problem, but it does make it. I think there's a ground underneath the water anyway. So if we there we go. So maybe if I put it on half throttle and then control it with the brakes then we can see how much of the paramotor is kind of underwater how much of the foot is dragging kind of thing I think I need, yeah this is what I need so I can see that altitude control There you go, just the foot, just a little dipping, the little... Uh, oh. oh no, too much. <laughs> what a horrible death. Submarine drag. Oh. Look at this. What a shame. After flying in real life. Uh, have a great one, Jack. If you're still there. Enjoy your flying. Uh, the weather here is not so good, so we can't can't go out, but... <laughs> Use paramotoring for sale. No SIV. No foot dragging. Uh, never sanded. Never flown. Never anything. Smooth. Look at those reflections. Amazing.
Oh, by the way, Jack, uh, do you fly paramotors or paragliders? Just out of curiosity, or or both. You know what, Kodiak is more like the wing. I've tried doing these helis in um, on the acro wing, and it's way harder than this, especially the connections. Connect, you know, spinning one way to spinning the other way. Super tricky. Oh yeah, you can totally do um, some speed flying. Oh, there's so many ideas, so many things to do. Look at this, we even have a trike buggy. Or a trike. Maybe slightly smaller wing. So that we can go a little bit faster. Probably shouldn't have it because I have more weight, but hey, living dangerously. Let's get down. <laughs> Let's get down fast. Oh, used brake a bit too early there. There's only one thing that this controller doesn't work quite right for this is now with trikes we have your control like basically controlling the front wheel and that is not an easy thing to do with this um, having two sliders one for left brake one for right brake Is there an FPS mode? You mean like first person sort of thing? Yeah, if you press C. Oh, there you go. Straight onto it. You can cycle through different cameras, and one of them is this. So you can use up a little bit of the shore here. Can we keep the wing up? Bit of power. There you go. Nice. This I think this is just really good for even for people learning like landing patterns and stuff. Is the turn gonna be too tight? Oh oh didn't touch. <laughs> uh power <laughs> What a weird experience. This is like flying a remote control thing. Little remote control para glider paramotor thing. Third person view. Yeah, I th I think so as well. Um, I think not everyone's into games, but I see it. I see it, this more as like a simulation that can be used for gaming. It can be used for fun as a game, but really, it's just a good 
physics engine for you know soft body aircraft to be honest um really really like it and i think there's lots of stuff on here that you know landing patterns and stuff you know like if any of you guys played gran turismo in in gran turismo even though it's a game it's you know a pretty good simulator and there's licenses on it uh, like your B license, A license, C license, international C license and all of this. And those licenses obviously are not the same, but they kind of do exist in real life. If you want to if you want to fly a, if you want to drive a Formula 1 car, you need to have a super license. And so they have those in the game even though the stuff you need to do is not the same. They use it as the licenses as a way to teach you about you know certain concepts like slow in fast out or the racing line or um hitting your apexes compound curves and all sorts of stuff like that so i see with like properly set up scenarios on this you could learn loads you could learn about um sync rates and 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 lift you can ha learn about different types of lift you can learn about um landing patterns you know it'd be easy to create a map just for a particular thing for a particular scenario and then you having to you get to actually play with the physics and see oh, what happens if you land downwind what happens if you land with a crosswind or slope land or top land you know where you're managing to having to manage wind and lift and sink and rotor and all sorts i i think it'd be a great tool Hey, are not traveling with a paraglider. Um, I don't think it's too hard. I mean, it's just a little bit big. The smaller you can pack it in your harness, the better. Usually every wing comes with a wing bag that is a lot bigger than the wing itself. So usually I put the harness and the wing and everything inside the wing bag. And I'll like, maybe not instruments because they might get damaged. But then on the airplanes, I just... Uh, check it in as like a normal luggage because usually it's under 20 kilos and yeah it's not it's not a big deal i think traveling with a paramotor might be a lot more tricky but yeah paraglide is not too bad how long do i sp spend playing the game at one time i don't know an hour an hour or two Oh, I'm in a thermal. Let's turn off the engine. Going up pretty fast. Funny how the propeller keeps going. Oh, looking right after, right next to the lift, we got some serious sink, just like real life. There you go. Get that transition from lift to sink. Maybe a bit exaggerated, but usually the sink is proportional to the lift. So on a on a strong thermal, you'll have some strong sink on the sides. Yeah, we do have it. Look. I, uh, here on the lo left corner no beep beep I just turned it off because sometimes it gets a bit intense but yeah the, we do have some beeping I just turned it off hi Louise hi human or fly is there multiplayer mode not yet I'm lobbying, lobbying very hard <laughs> with uh, with Evan to get him to to maybe develop it, to consider developing it. So we'll see. I think I think it'll happen sooner or later. I think it'll be uh, it'll be a huge thing when it's on, because then we can create servers and do competitions and fun flies and all sorts. Louise was about to ask about thermals. There we go. I fly hang glider at Salgado. 
That's awesome! Salgado is right next to us, so we have a hang glider, Portuguese hang glider pilot in the chat. This is awesome. Salgadinho. And I've seen that you guys, you hang glider guys, um, have um, I've made the takeoff a lot nicer. You've cut all the bushes on the Salgado takeoff and that's very much appreciated. Thank you. It's uh, much nicer, much easier uh, takeoff to use now. Yeah, I I know very little about coding, but I was really hoping because it's still a fairly lightweight game for a computer. I think that's possible. Maybe the soft, maybe the soft physics can be done on the client side, and the um, you know so you see your you see your uh, glider deform like normal, but if you're flying multiplayer. <clears throat> You just see their wings are static, so you basically getting position, direction, speed sort of thing, rather than everything. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't skydive. I want to try it, but I've uh, I've never had the chance to. I think Gemma's done a skydive once, a tandem one, but I've never done it. Using that anabat uh, anabatic anabatic flow, I always get anabatic and adiabatic m m mixed up. Yeah, I think you guys, for the hang gliders at Salgado, you use the takeoff that is more to the south, you know, it's more, um, less steep, the hill is not so sharp, and we use more the north one, closer to Nazare, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, absolutely, that would be really cool. I was thinking as well, Luis, if you're into hang gliders, um, I I've seen that there's some experimental parts of making uh, making hang gliders available on this uh, on this game as well. So that's uh, a potential. Cuz then in theory we could also fly, you know, hang gliders and paragliders together like in reality. Yeah, Nazare just creates so much more lift, isn't it? Because it's nice and steep. It's power out of here. <laughs> yeah, I think. I think all of the um what the um, what the AI was doing before was um was just following you. So they pull left brake or pull right brake to follow you around, but they didn't know how to avoid each other or catch thermals or anything. I don't even know if you spawn them. Actually, that's something to try. If you spawn them with a paramotor, what happens? Let's give them a big wing so that they... Hmm. I don't hear any noise. I don't think... I don't think they have the power on. Let's go with a smaller wing ourselves. They're just turning, trying to follow me.
<laughs> Look at them. Oh wait, I think they do have them. <laughs> oh, they just crashed. What the hell? Oh, can I see that? Oh no. This is a major incident. And I'm going to crash into the... Major incident. <laughs> AI, take, AI takes out another AI. Can they avoid the... I think they can avoid the... That guy looks like he's going to die. What was he doing on purpose? I don't know. Oh yeah, yeah, I've done the <laughs> I've done the spawn a hundred and see what happens sort of thing. Hey human, I do you use Resolve for editing your videos? No, I use um Premiere. Adobe Premiere Pro. Yeah, that AI was like, hey man, I'm going to use some power and I'm going to get the anabatic flow on this sweet ass mountain as well. I just keep imagining, you know, if this, if these were real people playing the game, those guys, <laughs> those guys it would be really fun. So many, sto so many stories and possibilities. Uh oh. I've joined them. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and the last guy follows us as well. Oh, what the hell? I don't think. Oh, you know what? Listen to this. Yeah, I think we're hearing the echo. And I think they throttle when I throttle at the moment. I think, yeah, I think they just... Wait, actually, it's easy to see. Instead of going by the sound, I'm just going to stop. Let the propeller stop and then... I think, I'm pretty sure that's what's happening. They just do the same as me. Yeah. Huh. Okay. So they can only catch me as long as I've got power on because they have power on at the same time. I think uh, I think Evan just you know needed to get it working quickly and getting it out rather than spending lots of time programming the AI. I also thought, you know, because in the future I want to do the uncollapsible, self-driving, self-flying paraglider and everything. It would be pretty cool to learn about how to program AI, actual AI, you know, not just bots on a computer, but, you know, something that actually learns how to do a certain task. It would be cool to do it on the game um, as a learning thing before messing with Arduinos in the messy, uh, messy real world. I wonder how much bank you can get if you do full throttle, not lose height. Can you tip touch? You probably can't tip touch. Whoa, mistakes were made. Okay, what else can we try? 
gonna have to have uh, go and have dinner soon but we can do a few more it's half eight okay scenery yeah they've been um people talking about you know using google maps data and stuff like that oh this is really small yeah this is the thing you can't really tell the size of the maps just by looking at them because they're all like fit the scale is fit to the thing map 2 is actually map 5 i know is really big map 2 turns out it's tiny super tiny okay um hey matt hey you guys if you if you want to see some uh, some cool interpretations of of a paragliding simulator rig you know the physical part go and follow uh, matt uskas go subscribe to matt uskas channel because uh, he's got some pretty pretty crazy pulley arduino action things with a <laughs> I'm lost for words for uh, for controlling parasim with a controller but actual brake handles and a harness and everything so it's pretty cool go and follow him if you want to have a look at that this is a much bigger map i think this is one of, i think this is the original map is this map number one no this is map number three map number three is the original one okay So, but yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about um, world maps yet. It would be cool, but I think yeah, the, the 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 feature list for this game is impossibly long because things like flight simulator are out there, so people kind of know what's possible. But at the same time, with a small team or one man band and limited time and resources things just take a long time so I think we will get there at some point but I think there's other things right now that will make it really cool without having to invest in building the world um, but I but I think it will come sooner or later okay so I want south straight south or a bit of west, a tiny bit of west. Power, sweet, sweet power and normal harness, rapid. Choosing nano, this should be pretty small. Wingspan eight meters. Let's try it, why not? Ah. Where's the wind coming from? That side. See you later, Supernova. Thanks for thanks for dropping by. É sempre um grande prazer ter aqui os tugas a representar o parapente Is it small enough to go down in 20 knots wind? Yes, yes it is Okay, is this doable? Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not good. This is death right here. This is what death looks like. <laughs> what the fuck. Um, you haven't been able to find any thermals, Matt. What the hell? I found loads just today. I've I've done a full task on stream. They're definitely around. You have to make sure. Because <laughs> I've made this mistake, have to make sure that they're enabled. For instance, now I'm going to disable them because I have plenty of lift as it is. But yeah, um, 
yeah, they have to be enabled. Hi, Sandra, how are you doing? This is actually 4.1. Uh, yeah, it's the new one, and more importantly, it's the full version rather than the demo. So we have five maps to choose from, about, I don't know, 15 wings, and all sorts of good stuff. So if you haven't checked it out yet, there's a link in the description. I'm sure you know about it already, but just for ease. Really good fun. I'm, I'm using this... Uh, gameplay uh, just as a way to have like a bit of a Christmas stream and have a chat to people to be honest and uh, oh look we're going up going backwards well I that's a good question Kodiak um, I'll have to ask Evan I think so I'm not sure if itch.io gives him like options to you know release a new version of a game rather than a new game altogether but what I can tell you is I actually bought version 3 I think I think it was 3.3 .3 or 3.4 um, like ages ago in March or something and when this one came out I got an automated email saying hey new version is out get it here you know and and at the time it was like you could donate, you know, off your own back. Like you choose to either download it for free or donate however much you wanted to donate. And I donated to it, uh, like $10, I think it was. And it's told me and let me download this on from my account because I've paid for it in the past sort of thing. So um, I think... I. Like I say, I'm, I'm not sure what, how Evan is going to play in the future, but I would expect him to give free updates um, to people that have bought it in the past, or at least as long as the game stays or continues to evolve slowly. Obviously, if there's a huge step and it's no longer an update, is a is a brand new game altogether, maybe you'll get people to pay for it. But I, I don't think so. I think you'll get you'll get free updates. That's what's been happening so far anyway. And he's a pretty nice guy. I really like him. So I think he'll be, he'll be cool to people that have helped him. Ay, 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 ay. Ages ago in March. I know, right? 2020 is going really, really slowly for everyone. Hey Sandra, since since you've been playing this, here's a question for you. If you could only add one feature to this game, this is like a little poll I'm doing. Actually, everyone can answer this if you've been playing the game, just because I'm curious about the development strategy and stuff. If you could add only one feature to the game, and your feature can't be to have more features, <laughs> like the classic genie in a bottle thing, immediately ask for more wishes you can't ask for more wishes but if you could have one feature what would it be will you what would you add to the game as it is <laughs> naked flying i like it <laughs> naked flying launch okay so being able to like be on the ground and then like pull the ace and then and then the wing comes up you control it you turn around and you launch i suppose vultures marking thermals <laughs> like usual yeah like what you actually expect in reality 3d clouds i think the clouds are kind of 3d at the moment aren't they they're definitely not, um, yeah, I think I know what you mean. You know, even the other day, I was thinking about this, like, oh, if I do a version 2 of the controller, what, what, how should I do it? And I even thought about making the controller a load of lines <laughs> that you actually pull on the lines. 
you know, a tabletop set of lines with uh, rotary encoders at the end of e each line with a spring or something. Multiplayer, so we've got a few multiplayers launching uh, other other air things, maybe like vultures, birds and stuff that can show you where the thermals are. Multiplayer, hike and fly. So basically walk simulator. <laughs> walk simulator that then you can launch. Hey, if you, this is a trick for Parasim. If you ever want to stop for a little bit, you just stall onto the side of a mountain and then you just slowly release and then you're off flying again. Actually, we might be able to do... I wonder if I get high enough here and then turn the wind off. If we can simulate a takeoff. I've tried it before, but it's kind of difficult. I've, I've managed it before, but it's, it's kind of difficult. You have to land on a, on a bit of a slope, not too much of a slope, and then slowly turn the wind up. Okay, so if we turn this down. Go over here, and then we'll come back the other way. Okay, okay. Going on approach now. Will this work? Uh-oh, this was way too much. Okay, this is gonna be a messy takeoff. But the idea was the idea was to land up there, like to, <laughs> to land here. Didn't work. But I suppose you could do something like this. And then if we have no wind, nothing happens. Okay, something happens a little bit. But then if we turn the wind up, resume. So I suppose if it wasn't quite if it wasn't quite coming up, you can use your speed bar a little bit. I've definitely used that in the past to uh to bring the wing up when the wind isn't quite enough. So pushing the speed bar is basically pulling on the A's. And then up we go, launching. <laughs> but yeah, if I manage to land more on the top, more on the a slope that isn't so steep, that would work, that would work better, I think. Oh, there's, there's so many messages now. I'm struggling to keep. Oh, oops. Oh, no. We're on the lee side now. We've gone too far. Oh, and we have the paraglide inside out. Okay, so that didn't work. Let me see. <coughs> Yeah, yeah, choosing the launch point. Well, you can kind of do that at the moment. Uh, you can press R, and then if you if you if you use WASD, you know, like the arrow keys, you can choose where you go. Actually, I should be able to launch like this. Actually, if I put it here, might be easier. And then you can go on Q and Z. You can go up and down as well. So if I go here and then let's go for something more reasonable like five and then breaks, breaks and spawn. There we go. Oh, so see, so this is not quite enough wind to inflate. But the wing is kind of in the right position. I have no brake on, as you can see. And maybe with a bit of, come on, come on. No, it's not working. So we need a little bit more wind, maybe seven. Oh, it wants to. A little bit more. Eight and a half. Oh, 
Haha, <laughs> yes! I'd call that a launch. Well, actually no, that's not a launch. Because we're not launching. Maybe, maybe what... Oh no, what is this? What's happening? Inside out. I think we needed some more. We need more wind. Because then when the wing's above, we, above us, we can't really have enough lift to move forward. Hmm. <laughs> Best part is the start. Yeah, for sure. That feeling of going <gasps> weightless. little bit. Can we do some ground handling on it? Oh, oh. Uh. Oh, we moved towards a little bit. Come on. To be honest, we are trying to launch with a really, really small wing. Does this help? The thing is, you need to get a little bit of power going so then when we use the brakes it picks us off the ground let's go almost <laughs> okay maybe maybe things need to get improved for launching to be possible oh look ground handling <laughs> what the hell never done this before can we turn it back around uh, a little bit of A's. Oh no. Turn it the other way. Thing is, one of one of the things about ground handling is you could what you do with your feet really matters a lot. And there's no footwork whatsoever in here. Cobra launch anyone? Or oh, Cobra, not launch. Just playing on the top of a mountain. A little snaky snake. Sneaky snake. No, I think we've proved this not. It's not, at least not, it's possible, but it's not straightforward. Oh, I've missed a buttload of messages. Finishing a con journey, I'm finishing a controller with brake toggles, weight shift, and speed bar. That's cool, man. Look at a few comments down from you. There's Matt Uska, and he's made something that sounds very similar. So have a look at his. Um... Because he's done something similar, so that might help. Hi, Instrument Freak. Sandra is building a hang sim. It's cool. I think uh, hang gliders will come to this particular simulator as well, so be able to use that. A little more wind. Hanging sim will change your life. <laughs> come home on a crappy day and fly in the bedroom. Yeah, absolutely.
No, I think you guys are talking about slightly different things. I think Sandro is saying hanging sim as in you're actually hanging from a harness, from a chair. And the hanging sim I understood to mean, like Louise, I understood to mean from, for hang gliding. But I think we're talking about different things. Am I doing more videos with Gemma on ground handling? Yes, uh, we've had the very busy end of 2020 with a lot of other projects and the weather hasn't been particularly good. So um, we're getting back into it, but yeah, we'll definitely be doing some more. Right, what haven't we tried yet? I think we've tried quite a bit of stuff. We haven't tried uh, speed flying, like proper speed riding. Let's go for something not too crazy. Oh, actually, this is pretty crazy. 5.5 meters. Let's go for something medium. Restart, I have zero wind, zero thermals. Don't need this. I don't need this either. It's hard to have some depth perception on this, isn't it? This camera is kind of okay, but makes me a bit wee, dizzy, not not quite right in my stomach. Can I get through here? Oh, but come on, carry through, carry through. Yes. Be so cool if there was replay. Sometimes you want to pilot something in first person, but then you want to see what happens like from a if a drone was following you or something and you you can't yet. Ah, ground is a bit closer than what I thought. This is gonna end badly. Oh no, did okay. So that I'm a bit quiet. It takes more concentration than what I, than normal flying to do speed flying. Can't even look at the comments. I don't know about you guys, but I really like. <clears throat> you know how the terrain is ever so slightly always different. There's like a different bit, more of a slope or a peak, or then. You know, then it falls away again. I really like to use the brakes and the speed bar to try to keep that distance to the to an, an ever-changing ground constant. Pretty good. I like that. That's fun. I think this is a nice altitude to start with. Can we make it over that crest? Mm, maybe. Gonna have to balloon a little bit here. Oh, yes, yes. So satisfying. Oh, we're gonna need a little bit of glide here to get over that. Come on. Ah, too ambitious. Which of sensors? Da, 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 da. First person needs. Yeah. Let's 
so many comments. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. I like to yeah. <laughs> I think I think we all we all look at these trees and we all oh, we all look at these trees and think, hmm, they're perfectly made goalposts, aren't they? <laughs> to try to get through them, so much fun. Yeah, maybe this one. It's a shame that there's only one camera where the mouse wheel works for more and less zoom. Because I, I quite like that this camera is quite a kind of okay is for this proximity stuff is one of the best ones where it's not too close, not too far away. And it tracks with you. So when you turn the camera turns as well. Pardon me, but um, but you can't you can't zoom in and out. So nice. Love this stuff. That was close. What? No way, if I get out of this one alive. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Jesus is now a thing. Praise the Lord. What was that? See, that's what you need replay for. I suppose I could take the video from the stream and go like, what the hell was that? But that was an act of divine intervention for sure. I'm happy. Got to be careful with using the brake sometimes when the wing is very unloaded going through the the top of the swing sort of thing it's very easy to stall it this should be implemented into rust <laughs> yeah I've, I've i've never played it myself but i've seen uh, people on stream playing it and it seems like it's really fun but yeah wouldn't that give you like a really big advantage in terms of being able to go places fast, like just go up a hill and paraglide down. Oh, here's some cool stuff that you guys might not have seen yet. Uh, I think, yeah, this one is not too crazy. There's the acro, oh, so eight meter acro. 9 meter acro. No, sorry, 16. This is normal. 13 and a half. That's more like what Theo uses, I think. Let's see. Yeah, this one is. I think this is the one I've been flying mostly with. The 14 meter one. If we get out onto the box a little bit. Yeah, I know, but aren't they like really hard to like you have to fuel them and fix them and they're super hard to control. But yeah, I know I know what you mean. Yeah, this camera isn't great for for acro. Um so but there's also if you guys haven't seen this already, a very deathy kind of blade. Yeah. <laughs> 
And for those of you who are a bit new to paragliding, this thing actually exists. If you put Deathblade on YouTube, you'd be uh, you'd be surprised. Can we can we acro this thing? Helico, yeah, buddy. Fire a bit more, a bit faster. Can we connect? Slow it down. Go the other way. Oh yeah. Get out of it. Wait. Let it shoot. Let it shoot. There you go. Bit of speed bar to help with the speed. That was surprisingly uneventful. When I've flown the death blade before, it's been very deathy. Can I do a ground loop, ground spiral? What's it called? The ground landing thing. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> yes, you can, but you have to have the skills, Andre. Which is not the case. No, 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 no. Abort. Stalls are easy. So that's one. There's also this one, which I'm not. I don't. I think it's. It's a wing that doesn't doesn't have like elliptical wings. It has like wings that actually taper, maybe in a straight line. It looks like a bit of a stingray. I don't know what would be the. The objective maybe smaller wingtip vortices more efficiency and you give up some maybe stability for it I don't know And then we have this one, which is a pretty fun one. I've kind of made one of these in real life, but maybe not as long as this when we've put extension lines on the uh, on the Roadrunner. And it does it is it does feel pretty similar to this, to be honest. <coughs> I have tried infinite tumbling on this; it doesn't work. <laughs> Too much drag. Tea is gone. How to make a tea last two hours? Just place paragliding sim and you forget about it. Right, can we do acro though? <laughs> Takes a long time to start going backwards. Any ideas? Do, 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 do. Well, wow. very acro capable. Slow it down, stay installed, go the other way. Yeah, I've been working on my connections. Can we fly away? To be honest, everything happens very slowly with long lines, doesn't it? Except when you're pendulum. If, if you've got a lot of pendulum on, it actually happens very fast. The ground comes comes next to your face super fast. <laughs> what a bizarre thing. So the last one, which I thought you guys would enjoy, <laughs> is this 364 <laughs> square meter glider with a 60 meter wingspan. I I think I remember a version where you could choose the weight of the pilot and I don't think you can anymore. I still have, I haven't found it anywhere, but it would be pretty cool to have that feature back because then I could actually put some serious weight on this and get it, see if it would fly. 
a bit better because <laughs> if you just fly with this normal, <laughs> this is what happens. There's not enough weight for it basically. And the controls don't seem to do much because this thing is not fully at flying speed. It's just it's just falling like a huge amount of <laughs> cloth. <laughs> what the hell? Maybe, maybe I should try a bit higher. Oh, uh, by the way, um, something I was talking to Evan the other day was that maybe we could create a Discord server for um, people that play the game. If you just want to talk about whatever. You know how how you're building your own sim, your your own um, controller, or other sims, or just paragliding thingy and things in general. Would anyone be up for that sort of stuff? I can create a server and leave a link if anyone wants to join. Because I see you know Supernova and Mazza are having a pretty cool conversation about. Um, other stuff related and that's the sort of thing that maybe if we had a discord server people could just talk to each other and share experiences as and when um, uh oh we're going straight down can't seem to get this to work what if we have maybe a heavier thing paratrike maybe Yeah, one of, one of my friends actually told me about um, Steep. It's like a mountain game in general, isn't it? It's their skiing and stuff. Yeah, this large thing just doesn't work. It, it used to work. But now it always folds up and does the same thing. And we're plummeting down to our death. Hmm. Maybe go higher. Come on. Why is the middle going getting dropped in? No. No. doesn't work okay I think it's more of a novelty thing this large thing we, we don't have enough weight to make it work and for Chernotle oh look at this huh how cool is that looking for a controller Evans put a little link to my thing so nice of him okay so let's go pop 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 we haven't done any Enzo's have we I think it's actually it used to be here, but it's not here anymore. I think this will be the closest one. 7.7 7 aspect ratio. Paratrike on an Enzo. I've been a bit obsessed with flying backwards recently. It's just a good way to get places. <laughs> if you need a lot of sync, if you need a lot of sync and, you know, mildly going forward, or in this case backwards, and mildly going in a direction, it just works quite well. Then you turn around, let it shoot, catch it. Off you go. Bob is your dad's brother or mum.
Good old Bobbington. Okay, you can see the landing strip. I'm gonna try to do a little touch and go on the old trike, trike mobile, like Taco calls it. Everything's mobile. You can put it, let it come down, then start adding a little bit of power to flatten out. Come on. Keep it on, keep it on. So have a little bit of control with the brakes, I guess. And then, here we go. This should, be, this should be part of a license, isn't it? Like trying to land in a field surrounded by trees and then you have to touch and go and still make it out before smashing into the next trees and then add some turbulence and then add some crosswind and then, and then things get, get tricky very quickly. Let's keep it a little bit, a little bit, ah oh, no, no, come on, oh, nice save, patting myself at the back there, can you turn, I'm sure you can actually turn, oh I'm going to try to use one of these things as a ramp, here we go, let's look at it from the side, full power, no not yet, full power now, Full power now. Yes! <laughs> Such a dumb little thing, but so... So enjoyable. Games are a funny thing, aren't they? Um, Johnny, it's actually just one guy. That It's just Evan that makes this, ga this game. It sounds like... It looks like a group of people, doesn't it? But it's not. Laundry Toss? Yes! Uh... I've already seen a little teaser video of a cutaway system. So you cut away your main wing and you have a little wing. Uh, kind of like the acro base stuff. Um, so it'd be easy to implement a small reserve parachute instead of, um, instead of another wing. So 100% that will happen in the future. Can we go up this hill? Can we use this as our new like little terrain mobile? <laughs> Caught the collapse. Yes, oh no. Don't have enough power. It keeps collapsing on me. It's hard to mo <laughs> the Enzo is not Oh uh, the Enzo is not a very good all terrain vehicle. Can you make a device for your butt for weight shifting? Absolutely. It sounds like Sandra's already done it. Sandra in the comments said that she was building a simulator with weight shift in it. I don't think it should be too hard. You could either have like pressure sensors or you could have something that measures the difference in the carabiners through some pulleys so that when you lean one way or the other. So that should absolutely work. And the, um, the game already has some different inputs at the moment for weight shift here. Like for instance, I'm using automatic weight shift, but it can be an axis from a controller. I'm just not using it. So um, yeah, I can definitely do that. Wow, so there's three, there's literally three people in the comments building their own simulator rigs. This is awesome. Sandra, Johnny and Matt. Uska, he was around, he might still be around. So there's definitely a good community of tinkerers creating their own stuff. I have to create, I have to make, I might make it right after this um, 
for those of you who are more interested in this stuff, after the video is, uh, after I end the stream, I'm gonna create a Discord server so that we can all talk about this stuff, technical stuff about the SIM and about controllers later, and we can sh all share what we know. I'm gonna create a Discord server and I'm gonna leave a link in the description of this video. So if anyone wants to join, then just go on there and then we can share, you know, text pictures, we can have calls and stuff. So that's something I want, uh, and I'll try to, I don't know if Evan uses it or not, but I'll try to add him to it as well so that it could be a little uh, development group of cool building stuff. And I think that's it. I think I'm going to leave this stream as it is for now. This was a nice little Christmas chat and a little overview of paragliding sim the new Paragliding Sim 4.1. Thank you so much to all of you for coming. Um, I hope you all have a great Christmas and stay healthy. Um, I think that's it. Thank, obviously, as always, thanks to all the patrons and thanks to all the people that have bought stuff from us before. It really helps keep the dream alive and uh, putting food on our table. Um, and yeah, thank you so much. Keep on playing it. Keep on supporting Evan. Keep on building your crazy stuff. Um, and yeah, we'll uh, we'll continue this on the Discord for those of you who are interested. As always, thanks for watching. And um, and yeah, that's it. I think we're gonna call it there. Gonna have to have dinner. I've not uh, not done it yet. Uh, after Christmas, I hope to do a few more of these because I've been really keen on doing longer term projects, which means there are videos missing from the channel quite often. But I really like playing the sim and making live streams, so maybe that will be something that will work together. Um, and yeah, I, th I think it will work well together. Uh, hope to see you all soon. Maybe some of you guys, Supernova and Louise, you guys are maybe local. We can uh, fly together soon. Um, yeah, Discord server will be a link in the description. Um, oh, Louise lives in San Martino. I live in Caldas, so just next door. And uh, yeah, we'll stay in touch. Uh, be good to each other. Be lovely. Have a great time this Christmas. E and I'll speak to you all very soon. All right, bye-bye.